not pref it's not a preference to have the family member they can be considered but you can't Correct. have them as number one because they are a relative right. so you can so choose one through three so it's the other way around right yeah but then you get into the whole issue of department head you know and supervising a relative which is <coughs> I just don't want you to get the two confused. I mean, you're talking nepotism, then you're talking who they can hire. Mm -hmm. They are allowed to hire one. They get one choice. And an elected official. And an elected official. Full-time full position. Mm -hmm. the, the rest is, is if it's full-time in civil service, if it's part-time, it's not necessarily the department's head's choice. It's you as a town board. Okay. Um, there, there is a... Um, as part of this agreement or policy that Brenda um, prepared, it says uh, when a town department wishes to hire an employee's relative, the department director shall submit a written request to the town's comptroller. As everyone knows, the town's comptroller um, uh, typically serves, serves as a human resources uh, person here. Um, and then the policy goes on, the comptroller is responsible for making a recommendation to appoint or not appoint to the town board. So, I, you know, I think that's Did a good you know that, Shirley? Mm -hmm. Did you know? No, Did I, you knew, I knew we were charged. I, I have not reviewed that, okay. but I do know it comes to our office as far as human resources. So, obviously, you probably need to have some yes, to take over. Because well, uh, it would need, yeah, 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 and that would need to be adopted into your own handbook as well. Well, I suggest now that it's written and we've discussed a little bit and identified some of the issues that um, we table it um, for future um, discussion. Make sure that you know department has to review it. Do you want to give me some input? Got it. Do you want to gather the input from the board? And Board to approve uh, CNY Public Safety Supply as a company to provide services to remove all equipment from our older police vehicle and install into the new vehicle. The new vehicle has arrived. Uh, the cost will be no more than $2,173.86 and could be as low as $17,740. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Boyke? Yes. Yes, I have a staff deletion of Riley Pataglini, and I would like to appoint in place of that young man uh, Tiffany Biddlecombe, 5998 of Lakeshore Road, Cicero as a recreation attendant at 7.25 an hour for the day camp program. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Jennings. Yes. Ms. Zimbrano. Yes. Mr. Coral. Yes. Ms. Boyke. Yes. My next item is a purchase approval. It's for tennis instruction. There's three different sessions in the summer to John Wojcik. Uh, an, an amount not to exceed $3,500, and it's coming via fees from participants. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Boyke? Yes. Could I go back to uh, one item? Maybe I'm missing something. Yeah. Chief, uh, there's something on here about United Radio. Whoops. So it's not included in the, your request. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you're referring to. It says removal of old equipment. Yep. Which is the United Radio charges 755.25 to remove the old equipment. 
$2,190 to install it. Their total price uh, without the new lights, siren, speaker, or cage transfer is $29.45. United Radio, if we have to purchase new lights, siren, and cage transfer kit, would only be $21.73. Thank you. Okay. Uh, at this time, uh, I'd like to go to executive session. I'd like to make a motion. Second. And, um, uh, let's see. Then that's to discuss contractual negotiations <coughs> and personnel issue. Yes. Thank you. I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Could you guys have a motion? Um, I didn't quite have it out of my mouth. Sorry. Thank you. And who's going to be in the? I'm just. I know. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you were done. Uh, no. Shirley, uh, Jim, Jessica, Lynn, and Tony. Chris was there. I'm sorry. And Chris was there. And Chris was there. Yeah. <laughs> okay.